you see any more, Mama? <laughs> Look at all your strawberries! <laughs> Yummy! She's enjoying the strawberries. Wow, Mommy! Good job! <laughs> Monkey? <laughs> Hi anyone that is watching this video Welcome to our channel Yeah, so I am so red like a little red tomato right now um, Or a really really big tomato right now um, We just got finished doing water play outside and it's so it's really really hot and humid outside and, um, yeah, I just gave both of us, um, I just gave both of us, um, like, showers right now. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, like, I'm still, I'm so hot. Um, it is so hot. Okay, so, um, anyways, um, where was I? Um, uh, for anyone that actually watches any of my videos, um, let me know down below, because I feel like I'm talking to myself most of the time, but, um, if you guys are silent viewers, I do um, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos, and um, yeah, I just appreciate that so much. Um, so I am a first time mom. I do have a two year old right now, and um, currently I am a stay at home mom. Um, so my channel is just like hauls, and like I'm trying to do like kind of like mini vlogs of like our life being um, like being a stay at home mom and I try to do like activities and stuff you know just um for other probably like first time moms that need ideas like um because I know I get a lot of ideas from like YouTube and Pinterest and like um you know just uh, um looking around just for activities to do with my daughter um because she is not in like daycare or any like preschool yet so yeah i try to like do a whole bunch of activities with her um just to get her ready and just make sure she's not like behind um but yeah um but this is my channel okay i've been wanting to do this for a long time because it is finally time um in back in march my daughter actually turned uh 24 months she's two years old um so it is actually time to um i just wanted to get her started in potty training um because you know like diapers are expensive and my daughter is all like she's ever since she was born she was always in like the taller side and the chunkier side and um she was literally in the last size of diapers that they could make size six so i was like oh my god i saw my husband like they're after six like <laughs> there is no more like there is no more in her size so um um yeah i just yeah it's time and um she's showing you know she's showing signs of that she's actually ready so this is actually not our first time of like um doing potty training with her back last year i believe it was back july or august we did um me and my husband we did try to potty train her um i don't know because i thought i don't to be honest like i was really really pressured by like everyone in my family who was like oh my goodness she's you know she's getting big um you need to go potty train her now um and you know everyone's telling me stories have all of their kids like under one years old potty train and i was like oh, okay yeah you're right maybe i need to potty train her is that the garbage truck <gasps> whoa hi so my daughter loves um the sanitation workers every time they come each week she has a cute little like uh, garbage truck that she likes to play with um but yeah anyways yeah, so I was kind of, like, pressured, um, let me put this up so you guys, <laughs> like, I'm, like, in my full pajama, like, I'm, uh, I'm, like, girl, I'm not going out anymore, um, even though it's, like, still midday, I'm, like, I'm gonna be in my pajamas, sorry, guys, I'm gonna be in my pajamas, like, the whole day, um, but, yeah, and it was, like, I was saying, like, um, yeah, it's, um, I tried July, August, um, potty training her, and we did that, me and my husband, for three days, um, and, um, after three days, it's like, um, it wasn't going anywhere, and, um, she was getting very, like, traumatized, like, um, trying to sit on the toilet, where, like, she would hold her pee all day and all night, and, um, 
I told my husband like I was getting worried because like I didn't want this to be like a medical situation because she was like holding her you know she was holding her bowel movements in and um you know I told him like she's only what I think she was like 15 I think she was 16 months at that time and I was like you know I would rather have her still in diapers at 16 months than like you know having her have issues and going to the ER um um and then so like a so after three days we were like okay let's um you know let's uh, let's um what's the word delay um let's let's postpone this potty training um until she's actually like you know old enough and ready um so again and then um december came around and she was showing more signs like she could she's showing more signs of you know she could physically do potty training and verbally communicate with us, you know? And um, that was December, no, I think it was January, but anyway, so I tried, um, it, it was my fault. I tried, um, I tried like the method of, um, you know, like um, I just let her out and about, like without any diapers and stuff. And you know, when she had accidents and stuff and it was like during the winter, even though we had the heater on, on um, you know, she would have an accident and it would be cold and stuff, bless you. Bless you. Yeah, so anyway, she ended up having, she ended up getting sick. Like, she ended up having a cold, so I was like, okay, wait, um, like, I was like, okay, let me, uh, I don't know, so, we, I, I, I ended up, like, not going through with it, um, yeah, so I ended up not going through with it in December, um, but now it is, what is it, it's May, so it's May, so, um, I told, um, I think the doctor, someone told me, or I read somewhere where I think, like, um, you know, the best time, like, you know, seasonal wise is probably like summertime for kids, summer time for kids to go potty training because it's hot outside. They can wear whatever, you know, it's just, it's hot outside. They can go without their nappies, um, her diapers or whatever, and they can be, you can let them. <laughs> run wild and be whatever naked you know um you know the first beginning stages of potty training so um yeah so it is may and it is getting warmer like each and every day where i'm at so i told my husband okay like i want to try and um this time i told myself my goal is like you know um I'm not going to have expectation where, like, I read the potty training book of, like, oh, you know, your kid can be potty trained in under, like, one week or uh, in three days. Um, I told my husband, like, I'm not going to have that expectation or whatever. Like, I'm going to potty train my daughter until she's actually potty trained. So, um, and I'm not, uh, I don't really have, like, a timeline, you know. Um, but um, I just want her to get into the habit and, like, for her to actually be fully trained so i don't want to have like an expectation of like three days and then you know if that doesn't happen it's like oh like oh it failed not now so um i started potty training her in last tuesday so now it is tuesday so it's been a full week and i actually seen really great improvements with her she's having less uh, accidents and she's actually going to the potty on her own without us you know, keeping telling her, oh, like, you know, checking up on her, do you need to go potty? Do you need to potty? Because the first beginning um, couple of days, like, we had to just sit her in the potty, like, every 15 minutes. Um, if she drank a whole bunch of, you know, like, liquids, um, if she didn't drink a whole bunch of liquids, like, it would be, like, every 30 minutes. Um, then I would walk her to the toilet, and um, sometimes she would cry because she didn't want to go to the toilet. But now, um, when she feels like she has to pee, she actually goes sits on the potty on her own and uses it so she has a she's been having accidents as well but less frequent than you know the beginning stages um so i'm super super happy because i'm actually seeing progress um yeah so oh my goodness i've been talking for 10 minutes guys but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that we are in the process of potty training and i've been wanting to do this video for a while now just um you know like potty training haul um, just things that I got for my daughter just um, for potty training. So you guys see this toilet here. So this toilet ha actually has not been used yet. Um, and I'll tell you why because <laughs> my daughter actually received one from my um, mom and I, I don't know what brand it is but it's the potty train. It's a 
it's a toilet like this. Um, I think it's like little tykes or something, but it actually flushes, um, flushing sound and it has lights and music and stuff. And, um, we use that the couple of times that we did try to potty train her and, um, yeah, so she was very, very like distracted from the beginning where she thought it was just a toy. Um, so I thought I was like, oh, maybe, you know, it's the, <laughs> maybe it's just a toilet. You know, she's distracted by it. She doesn't want to pee in it because it's a toy for her. Um, but for this past week, um, the actual toilet that my mom actually gifted her, she's been using like every single time and has been doing really, really well. Um, this one... This one, um, I decided to buy her because um, it looks like a real toilet. And I thought she was going to actually love this because my daughter is like at that phase where like she loves to copy everyone. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe she wants her actual real toilet. And um, this one doesn't have all the flashing lights and all that. It's just a toilet. Um, so this one, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one, she actually has juice. And I don't know where the receipt is and whatever, so I can't even take it back. Um, you guys might be like, okay, that's excessive. Like, she doesn't need that much toilet. But, um, like I said, um, I was actually going to um, donate one of these. Uh, and, you know, when she's done potty training, I will donate all of these. But um, as for right now, this one, the one, the white one that I showed you, I, go, I keep upstairs in our um, the upstairs bathroom because, you know... There are times where she's going to need to go and she's upstairs and she has a potty available. Um, but yeah, so that is why she has two potties. Um, but the one that she, uh, that my mom actually gifted her, she actually likes better now and is that actually doing really, really well. Um, and then I got like this big basket from Dollar Tree and I just filled up all of the things in it. Um, and you know, like... I really need to organize this, but I just want to show you. So I got some paper towel rolls because there's like for accidents. Just, um, and then I have a cleanser somewhere. Um, but paper towel rolls just to clean up the mess. Um, and then in Amazon, I found these, um, diaper covers. Or these are actual under, um, underwear covers, but, um, they're meant for potty training. Um, they are waterproof and it came in a pack of two and they're super affordable. They're like under $6.00. But um, when she wears her underwear, I just put this over so, um, you know, if she wants to get into furniture or, like, a carpeted area in the house or whatever, like, it actually holds everything in and, like, she there it creates less mess. Um, yeah, so I got her this. And then I heard these also really make um, a great, like, diaper swimmers. Um, underneath the di um, swimmer diapers, just put this in and on your child and it like it's supposed to hold everything in um you know especially like number two because she is going to be wearing this for the summer too because i know i'm going to be taking her for swimming um and like like i said she's still going to be like very very new with potty training and um so you know i don't want like a number two accident and the like, whole pool closes like <laughs> i don't want that incident so i want everything underneath um, but hopefully when it's like deep into summer, she's going to be like potty trained. So, um, hopefully. And then I did get her this as well. Um, uh, by the way, these are the waterproof diaper, pan diaper pants. This is the one that I showed you guys. Yeah. So I have a big baby, so I got her extra large in this. Um, but these are super, super affordable. And then at Walmart, I found these actual training pants. I found, like, a Sesame Street one because she, she just likes Elmo, but, um, I don't know. I couldn't find, like, other characters that she liked, but I love these because they are actual training pants, and they are super, super thick. So, um, in the beginning stages of potty training, these, I, you know, these work really well because it actually holds in a whole, like, it absorbs a whole bunch of, um, number one, number two, so, like, there's less mess to clean up. Um, so this is one of them. Um, we use a whole bunch already and some of them are already in the laundry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so these are a bit pricey. I think seven pack, uh, seven pairs of, um, training pants and they were like $15. Um, uh, so they are in the pricier side, but I do like these, um, for the reason I told you guys, cause, um, 
I do majority of the house is actually like hardwood floor so and I'm always with her so if she does have accidents I can easily like clean it up um, but the thing that I'm worried about is like she likes to go on like furniture and couch and stuff um you guys can see like I had to cover the couch um, because she still likes to like um, she has her own little couch by the way but she loves you know sitting where everyone else sits and sometimes she'll you know she might have an accident and I just it's like a big big mess and you guys know it's so so hard even if you clean it properly it's so hard like getting the smell out of like furniture and stuff and like carpeted and um um items with um you know whatever so these actually like absorb a whole bunch of things so there's less mess and stuff so um also like the carpets too like <laughs> Oh my god, like she peed in the carpet, like it was an accident, like she had an accident in the carpet and I did clean it up and then like a couple days like I could start smelling like the smell even though I cleaned it with like I washed it, I used a cleanser and whatever so like I like till this day I'm still like cleaning up like the because I'm like oh my god like am I paranoid like I can still smell um some of the smells but um yeah so I do love using this and also this like anytime she's going to be like, <laughs> um, I know she's going to be on furniture, she's going to be in a carpeted area. I always put this over so like it holds everything in, it's waterproof. Um, yeah. And then um, um, yesterday I had to go to Roses because um, they always have tons of affordable underwears there. And um, I had to pick her up a couple more underwears because... Um, the one that I bought her last summer, um, they're just like standard underwear. They are too small for her now, so I had to get a bigger size and, um, you know, everyone was telling me, oh my god, like, make sure you get a lot of, like, you know, backup underwear because she's gonna have a lot of accidents and I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, so it turns out, like, yeah, seven underwear is not enough. Um, the first day I think we went through, like, six, like, literally the whole pack of underwear of accidents. Um, so I wanted to get her more and, um... To be honest, I wanted to get her more of these, but like, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like $15, okay? So, anyways, I went to Roses, because you guys know, if you guys follow me, I love discounts and stuff, so I went to Roses, and I got some just like basic underwears for her, and this one, guys, is such a good deal. It is a pack of 10, 10 pairs of underwear for only $5, so these are just like basic standard ones, just whatever. Um, I told my daughter, you know, like, and my husband, like, hey, look, when you are fully potty trained, I, mommy will get you any type of underwear, like you want frozen, um, um, you want like princesses, I will get you that, um, but for now, these will do. So I got her that, and then, um, I do have wipes for cleanup, and then I have extra clothes in this little, um, in her potty training organizer I do have extra clothes like I said if she has an accident like it's already readily available and then I did get her some reward stickers so um I did print out um online they have a lot of free things online that you can print out for potty training I did print out like a reward sticker so every time she uses the bathroom on her own um I you know I put these cute little stickers on it and I also printed out a little chart for her like I posted it I put it on all the bathrooms that we have and I just um it's just a little chart that reminds her of like the steps to take like you know wash your hand oh use the toilet then clean yourself wash your hand I use soap you know just a little cute chart for toddlers um so um a lot of super like take take advantage of like all the free things online because I've seen on Amazon they actually sell actual potty training charts which are like ten dollars um but you know why buy it if it's free um and then um I do have her books here when she's sitting in the toilet um I do have a couple of books so you know it can occupy her while she sits in the bathroom um, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, like a majority of the time when she is in the potty training just to keep her focus and stuff, um, sometimes I do bring her her tablet so, you know, she can stay in the toilet longer until she has to go potty. Um, and then I did get her this as well because my daughter actually loves the books that have like actual photos of kids in it instead of like drawings. Okay, mommy. Okay. 
Um, so this one is Big Girl Use a Potty. So this one I actually found at Amazon and I think it was like $4.99 on Amazon. It just looks like this. It's super cute and it's just like it tells a story of how this little girl, she really wants to go potty and you know, how you know, her mom bought her underwear and um, you guys see they got um, what is it? They have um, the little toilet so yeah, so these are really, really good, especially at her age, because she loves to, you know, see what every all the other kids are doing, and, you know, kids mimic other kids, you know? Um, so, when she sees her, like, when she sees the little girl, hey, look, she's she has a potty, too, and she's, um, you know, trying to potty. Um, so this one is actually a really, really cute book, and then this one also has a little reward chart here that you can tear out. Um... And it also comes with like a whole bunch of really, really cute stickers. I'm gonna go show you guys. It comes with a whole bunch of stickers, like reward stickers as well. But this one, um, yeah, so this is just a great book to just to prepare your child. Um, they have a boy version as well, but um, this is just a cute book to prepare your child. Um, and you know, just like inform your child like what potty training is and like uh, the steps to take, um, so I got her that, um, and then like I said, um, this is her little, where all of her potty things, uh, potty training things go, and then I forgot to mention this, guys, but I do also have this, so she's had this ever since she was born, I got it, at, um, off of Amazon, and it is just this really, really, really big, um, changing pad, so, um, these actually, um, she had, yeah, so these actually came, um, in handy because I like these really, really big, um, changing pads rather than the small ones because, like, there's more room, you know, um, to change my daughter, um, and, you know, I don't have to worry about her, like, touching, like, you know, the dirty bathrooms or whatever, but, um, yeah, so obviously, like, she's, like, at a point where she's, <laughs> <laughs> She's not gonna need this any longer in the public bathrooms, but um, I did keep this because um, this is waterproof. This is waterproof, and it is such a big changing pad where um, um, like I said, if she wants to go into furniture or whatever, I literally put this on like the couch and like she can sit on it. Um, and you know, like there's less mess and there's not gonna be like. I don't have to clean a whole bunch of like whatever accident she did on the couch and there's not going to be any smell if there is an accident. So these work out really, really great for um, potty training as well. Um, and then she has another one upstairs as well. Um, I forgot to bring it, but um, yeah. So I have that. And then I forgot to show you guys. Um, I got this off at Amazon and I got this for like literally $3.99. So it comes with this cute little pouch. It is this cute little travel size. So it looks like this. It's this cute little travel size um, potty seat toilet thingy. Because, you know, like, my kid, <laughs> even though she's a very, very tall child or whatever, like, she's still very small to fit in a standard, like, toilet seat when we go out in public. So um, let's say, like, I'm shopping and, hey, like, I really need to go potty. Okay. Take her to the potty and then I can take this out of my bag. And it is, I love that it's foldable. And then I put it directly on the seat. And she does her business. And then I can just spray it with, um, uh, what is it? <laughs> I can just spray it, um, take the germs away, and then just fold it back up. Fold it back up. And then it comes with a bag, like I said. Fold it back up and then put it directly inside my bag again. So I love how cute this is. So we have used this a couple times already and it works well. Um, I do have to say, like, if you guys are looking into this, uh, just, like, keep in mind, just uh, watch out for these. Make sure it's, like, completely flat. Make sure it's completely flat because sometimes, like, if it's not fully flat and then your kid decides to, like, sit fully on it, um... It can probably it can probably pinch your kid's um, thighs or whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just like make sure they're it's fully unfolded and laid flat. But yeah, my daughter really really likes this, and um, 
sometimes she actually prefers like actually using the big girl like the actual toilet we have in the bathroom and I just put this over here and like she feels like a big girl um so sometimes we do use this um but um I'm gonna be using this out in public and um they have tons of these like different colors they had a pink one a blue one like green yellow from different sellers on Amazon um, I believe I got the blue one because like it was the cheapest one. <laughs> it was the cheapest one I found. It was literally like four dollars and the other ones that I saw were like ten dollars and up but um yeah so this is I thought this is really really cute. Um, yeah so another thing that I got like um, I guess it's for yeah it's for potty training. Um, this one I got at Roses and it is a sponge mop with scrubber. Yeah, so this one is just primer. Like, this one, guys, this was so cheap. This was um, at the Discount Roses store. Um, this was literally $2.99 at, oh, so uh, $2.99 at the store. So this one, you know, like, hardwood floor. She pees. I just run over, clean it, and then clean the mop again. Um, so I thought this was super convenient. Um, and then I did pick her up a couple more things for at Roses. Um... Like I said, I had to pick her up some underwear, and then I could not resist, like, oh my goodness. I know I bought some at Dollar Tree, but these were only three pairs for one dollar, and I love the little pom-poms. They are so cute on my daughter. I love it. And then I did pick her up some nightgown, um, because she prefers these, like, these, um, night dresses, like, when it's super, super hot, then, you know, the little non-dresses she has but i thought this was really cute and this was three dollars guys so roses has amazing deals um yeah and then i did um i tried to go to walmart yesterday um i did go to walmart yesterday because i had to return some of the items that like don't that don't fit um like i think a couple of hauls ago i told you guys that like one of the dresses does not fit my daughter so I had to go return um, that and a couple more things. Um, yeah, but I, anyways, I went to Walmart um, to return more things. And I did pick up some biker shorts. So look how cute these are. So I actually found my size. I got a 2XL. And then I started wearing the other one like straight as, <laughs> like, as soon as I went home. Um, it's just like a black one with like little leopard imprints on it. Um, but everything was like all these biker shirts are only $5.98 and they're super soft and I love that they actually have like uh, cell phone um, cell phone holders and then um, my main reason of going to Walmart was actually to get her some pull-ups because like when we are going to be going outside um, you know she's in the very beginning stages of potty training so when we do go out and about um, I would rather have like her pull-ups on so you know it's just easy to like take off and off uh, off off and on like um, if she has to go to the public restroom and you know if she does have an accident um, out when we're out like it's not gonna be a big mess and <sighs> yeah so I wanted to um, look for those um I'm gonna insert the ones that I actually bought down below um, but I thought it was a really really good deal um but um they did not have my daughter's size in the store so i had to actually buy those um online so i will be get the, getting that like in two or three days and then i did i could not resist i got my daughter like another pair of sandals because i returned the other one because it, the other one was like i think like two or three times the price of the sandals i bought um yeah so i just bought her these cute little footbed sandals uh, like great for every day and just like you know play days um so I got her that and what else did I get I don't remember but um yeah that is basically it guys um I just wanted to show you guys um and just update you guys like what we are like in the phase now we are in the potty training phase um yeah so guys like wish us luck hopefully you know like I said um I don't have any like short timeline where like I expect her to be fully potter trained like under a week um but like I told my husband hopefully by the end of summer she will be like fully potty trained um you know like before it starts getting cool again I'm just like 
hoping and praying um but like i said my daughter is actually like it's her this is going this is going to be her second week um and she's actually doing pretty good so i'm really really happy that we're actually seeing some progress um so it's looking very very hopeful um but anyways this is it guys um i hope you guys have a great day and i want to thank you guys again for you guys watching and sticking around and um yeah thank you guys for that and i hope you guys have a great day and yeah see you later right now we are playing little construction and i just got these like black beans you know for gravel she's having a really really fun time with this and we love this we love the little sensory play and sensory bins Hey guys, another sensory, be uh, sensory bin is this cute little water beads. Um, this is something new we never tried before. Um, pretty, pretty cool, great sensory. Um, she got tired of her other sensory bin, so I just pulled this out real quick. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this because she is currently potty training right now. And these just came in in the front door. Um, these are her little pull-ups from Parents' Choice, and they look like this. Um, so this one, um, she is going to be strictly using like anytime we have like a road trip or like we're just going out and about because she still is in like the early stages of potty training. Um, over there, um, we got her potty real close, um, but she's been doing really, really well. I think today is officially her one and a half weeks since we started and um, yeah, she's been doing quite well. So I'm really, really happy that we're showing, um, you know, she's showing a whole bunch of progress. Um, look at her. Is that squishy? Yeah, and I just got this, um, you know, if you guys follow me, we do a lot of like sensory bins, um, play. Look at that. <laughs> look at her. She's sorting out. And I get majority of the stuff from Dollar Tree, like all the bins and utensils. And I just made lunch and I've been craving salmon so I just got um, I just made uh, some um, garlic butter salmon and yeah so I did cook it way too long because it is a little bit dried out but um it is still really yummy and I cut it up for her yes baby I know we're gonna go eat hold on let's go on the table yeah so I did cut it up for her so it's easier for her to eat and then I did get um um, steamed vegetables for her and steamed rice so this is going to be our lunch uh, after this we might just do some water play or go outside um, I don't know because she's currently still potty training so we're gonna be around the house uh, for the rest of the week okay, so for her birthday we had um, some confetti balloons and these are her from her leftover balloons and I just took the confettis out and put it in this um, in her little whip bin for her just for her to do some water sensory play and for her to practice her like water transferring skills and it is so hot today so <laughs> yeah and then I, I just got her some like measuring the, these plastic measuring cups from amazon and um also like um things from like dollar tree just like little bins so she can like pour things into it By the way guys, this is from the Dollar Tree. These are the things that like, um, I forgot what it's called, but like they're like sea creatures and you can put it in water and it grows like 600 times their normal size. But this is how big it's gotten. And look, this is the size of my hands and look how it's, um, yeah, it just grew really, really big. So it's been in the water. I put it in this um, little tumbler cup that we were not, that we're not using anymore. And it's been in the water for like three days. and. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so my daughter, she hates playing with these. She thinks it's, I don't know, she's creeped out by it, but um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good toy um, for summer and just like water activities. Starfish. Ooh. <laughs> it's like Patrick Star, huh? Ooh. Guys, it is such a warm, warm day. Here is her new little Wonder Nation. Ooh, uh, what is it? Sensory, 